<laughs> you've decided it was all right. I always have awkward interactions with audience members. This is on my mind. I was just upstairs. This girl comes up to me, right? Drunk, goes, tell me a story about your daredevil shirt. I already hate this person, right? <laughs> what, why, exactly? Why do I hate them? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> if that's not obvious, I have nothing in common with you. <laughs> you don't understand how that would be. Someone comes up and tell me a story about your daredevil shirt? It immediately puts me on the defensive. It's annoying. I didn't have anything. I said, tell me a story about your, your, your skirt. You're wearing a skirt. She's like, well, it makes me look sexy. <laughs> I'm like, Jesus. Right? And I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm like, I don't know, man. Like, what is this? Like, this is, this is feminism, I guess. I, I can't, like, you know, because, like, if I, I, well, I don't know. Because my girlfriend, she, she always argues, she, we, she has this broad definition of what feminism is. She's always like, uh, like, we always argue about that. I'll be like, honey, I was walking home. I saw this girl in Covent Garden take a shit. It was, like, unbelievable. She's like, that's feminism. <laughs> What? No, honey, come on. Feminism, I know, but like she's in the middle of the street. Yeah, she's uh, proud of her body. She's smashing the patriarchy and reclaiming her bowels. All right. And I was like, really solid outfit choice for tonight, Mark. I love that. What are you going to wear to the show, honey? My sticky bandits costume from last Halloween. <laughs> Fuck like, yes, man. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> the fact that you just laughed at a Sticky Bandits reference, we're gonna get along great. Unfortunately, there's only one of you, and the rest of the audience didn't seem to find that very funny. <laughs> it's gonna be a rough show for the rest of you, but this guy's gonna walk away more than satisfied. <laughs> more than satisfied. I'm so glad you sat in the front. By the looks of you, there's no way every comedian hasn't done at least 10 minutes on you, for sure. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. I got a big challenge ahead of me to say something more unique than the absolute beating you have probably taken this evening. <laughs> Poor guy just wants to sit in the front looking like Sideshow Bob and everybody's going. <laughs> but he came out to have a good time. And to be honest, I'll be damned if I'm gonna have a bad show tonight, because there's a great chance I can get the virus, go home, and die. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna let both those things happen in the exact same go, okay? You guys are a good crowd. I'll be happy to get the virus tonight. <laughs> like, wouldn't that be the worst if you bombed on stage and got the virus? You know, you just like ate shit in front of an audience, go home and start getting the sweats. <laughs> Like, fucking unbelievable, man. I thought it was gonna be such a good gig. I came right out of the gate with Sticky Bandits. <laughs> Ginger guy with the fro situation going on up top. The incredible haircut that he invented himself. <laughs> invented it himself. Definitely at some point during the lockdown, you said, I don't think I'm ever going back to the barber. <laughs> Your girlfriend was like, all right, take it easy. Take it easy, don't get cocky. Let's just, let's take it for a test drive in public first and then you can make your decision. I'll prove it to you. I'm gonna sit in the front row of the comedy show tonight. That's how confident I am. With this haircut. Huh? You'll see. Nice, man. How long you lived in uh, England? Six years. Me too. Same. Huh? You like it? London. Yeah. Liberal city, isn't it? Yeah. It's a liberal city in the world. I think so. It's a bit of a trade-off, right? You ever notice that? Like, everybody in London is very liberal, but at the same time, they're kind of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> you ever notice? That's like the way it is with liberal cities. That's the thing. Everyone's super woke, but they're very rude. <laughs> but then if you go out into the hills, you know, with the hill people, they're like really nice to you, but everybody's racist. <laughs> It's like, which one do you want? It's such a trade-off, man. Everybody in London's like, I believe in LGBT, LMNOP, organic, whole foods. But if there's a little old lady in front of you and you're trying to get the pick of two, you'll just fucking kick her in the tracks. Like, right in the Piccadilly line, like, done. 
Then you go out into the little small areas and they're all nice. Come on inside. And then they trap you in a basement for a couple of months. <laughs> you stay down there till you vote Brexit, you understand? <laughs> we are remain and that's what you'll do until you come to the right side. <laughs> London people wouldn't last two minutes like, I haven't heard a podcast in weeks. <laughs> They're feeding us, but it's not organic. Help! <laughs>